in the flyweight division at UFC Vegas 83. You got Tatsuro Tyra coming in at perfect 14 0, taking on Carlos Hernandez, who comes in at 9 2. Now, Hernandez is one inch taller at 5'8. He's sturdy. Tyra is still very young at 23 years old. Tyra has a three inch reach advantage. Both guys stand right handed. Now, in terms of activity, that leans towards Hernandez. 5.5 significant strikes per minute to 3.2 uh, for Tyra. In terms of the takedown game, Tyra doubles him up. Nearly one takedown per round. Hernandez is lucky to get one every other round. So Tyra has the advantage on the ground. He's got a 60% takedown defense. Kind of average, not great, but not terrible either. He's coming off wins against uh, Edgar Chayerez by decision. He submitted uh, Jesus Aguilar and beat CJ Vergara by submission. So this guy uh, is doing his job. He's running through people. Hernandez, 65% takedown defense. Beat uh, Denise Bondar by decision. Lost to Alan Nascimento by submission. And beat the likes of uh, Victor Altamirano and Daniel Baerez, both by split decision. One of those at the Contender Series. So, you know, peeking at the odds, yeah, it's nearly nearly a 7-1 to one favor for Tyra. I mean, this fight is not even uh, expected to be close. You expect Tyra to go in there and dominate and more than likely get a finish here. And that's just the way I see it playing out. Forget the uh, significant strikes per minute. The ground game for Tyra is the difference. And he's likely to land takedowns in his fight, when, especially when his opponent is average uh, in terms of takedown defense. So look for Tyra to dominate this fight. Likely get the submission victory uh, to cruise to 15-0 here in the flyweight division at UFC Vegas 83.